Hi, today I'm going to present you how to use uh, the pinwheel calculator and specifically I have here two, three actually, three original Ordner and one Multo Addo, which is basically the same, it just got a few differences in the mechanisms and how to use it. So to do a sum, I insert the first number, I already have one here, 3434. I turn clockwise and it appears here. Now I do the second number I want to add to the first one. I do one clockwise turn and here I have the sum of the two. This mechanism, this lever, this gear helps to uh, clear the result mechanism. Here I can clear the counter mechanism. And if I want to clear the input register, I push this button and I do just half turn, a quarter of a turn, and then back. And now it's all clear. Okay, let's do a subtraction. So I insert the first number, I turn clockwise once because I have to first add this number in the output register. That's, that's what people uh, have a difficulty understanding. When you do a subtraction, the first number you have to add it. Otherwise, you will subtract something from zero and that gives you something which is not nice. So, once I have added the first number, I put the number I want to subtract to the first number and I turn anti-clockwise. And there we go with a subtraction. Okay, I clear all the registers. Well, this one doesn't need to be cleared. Let's say now I want to do a multiplication. So, 5545, five, 56, five, five, just to choose another number. And I want to multiply this by 88. Let's choose a big number. So I just turn 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I know how many times I've turned because it appears here. 8. I move the carriage and I turn another 8 times. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I've done 5,456 by 88 makes 480,128. If I would like to add another digit and say, instead of 88, 688, I move the carriage one more time and I turn another 6 times. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there we go. This huge number, but still not that huge, 3 million something, is the multiplication between 5,456 and 688. So, quite easy and straightforward for the multiplication. Now for division. We have seen the details on how to do it, uh, so I just show on this calculator how to do it. Actually, I've shown it also on the other video, but it doesn't really matter. Let's not do, mm, I like this one, 987. Again, like in the subtraction, I first have to add the number to the register, clear the input register, clear the counter mechanism. Uh, actually, I like to move it here, because like this I have eight digits in the result, but here I only have... Uh, yeah, eight digits in the result. So. I add 610 and I subtract until the calculator tells me I'm done, I've gone in underflow. Okay, underflow, then I have to add it again, move the carriage, underflow, add it again, underflow, add it again. Underflow, add it again. Underflow, oh, done two times. Add it again. Underflow, add it again. Add it again. And you see, if I'm, if I'm underflow, all these numbers become nine. So even if I don't hear the bell very well, I can see it from the output register. Okay, you see, all the nines, that's too much. 
So I have to stay here. So the result is 1.6180327 with a rest of 53. We will never get to a pure division in this case because this is an approximation of the golden number. Uh, okay, that's for the division. Uh, let's go to the last one, which is the square root, which I also have to do going here in this direction. I need at least eight digits, so I align my 13 to 8. I do a big square root now, eight digits square root. So the number I, I have put it there because I've done it before. We know already that 3,537 by 3,537 is uh, one, and not here, one, two, five, one, zero, three, six, oh, no, I have to move it one time, one position left, one, two, five, one, zero, three, six, nine. Okay, I check it again, one, two, five, one, zero, three, six, nine. Okay, let's do the square root of this number. First, I have to input the number in the register. I have to clear the counter register, clear the input register, and now it's eight digits, so I start counting from the right. Two, four, six, eight. This is my last digit. I have to start subtracting from the two, which is column seven, Okay, I subtract 1, 3, 5, 7. I've gone too far. I turn and add it again. I put it to 6. I move the carriage. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now I have 69. The next odd number is 71. Okay, that's too much, so I put it to 70, I move the carriage and add a 1 here. 1, 3, 5, 7, too much, I put it to 6, I move 1 here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, now again I have 69, the next odd number is 71, 73, I've gone to 0, and the square root is 3537. And here we can see that it's exactly the same number I have multiplied before to find a big number I can calculate a perfect square root. It works perfectly as well if you do square root with a comma or whatever, it works exactly the same, it doesn't really change anything, you just have to decide in the end where to put the comma. So, those were the five operations. Uh, functioning of this one, there's another function which is that I can, by pushing this lever down, I can move the carriage freely back and forth. Here on this Ordner here, there's a few differences. Let's clear the whole mechanism. Okay, to clear this one, it doesn't really work very well in this one because I still have to clean it from the inside, but I basically, I move it here so you can see it. Okay, to clear this one, again I push here and I turn the crank halfway through and then up again. But you see, it doesn't always clear each number. And also here I can push this one down, I can move quite freely the carriage, it doesn't really have to clean it inside. And for the rest it just works the same, I believe that this one is probably 1930s, it still has got even metal buttons and everything, here we have a lot of plastic. But what this one has, which is really interesting, is that, let's say I have made a big calculation, I have this result here. Oh. Why is it doing like this? And now something got blocked. Okay, now it's free again. Let's say I have this big number in the result register. And I want to use it again 
to make a further calculation. So what I do is I push this lever down, I turn this one, and the number that was here is back carried in my input register. So now I can go on, I can do this multiplied by 35 or whatever, and I can work on with that one, that number. Okay, we can go to this one. This one, again, is pretty much the same. The only difference is probably a cheaper version. It doesn't have the, the dials that show me the number I have input. I, I have to get it myself from, this, well, from the position of the levers here. You see, here I have this a dial here that shows me what I input here, whereas here I don't have it, but for the rest it just works exactly like that one. Even here the clearing mechanism is the button on the side. And then we have the last one, Molto Addo, which basically works the same. I can input my numbers here, or it will appear here. To clear both registers, this one and this one, I just pull this lever down and they're both cleared. If by chance, like in a division, I only want to clear that one, I push this lever and this way I just clear that one and this one still has the number which I ins inputted. Then what it's got to move, uh, to, to clear the input register, I just pull this lever. So easier than with the other ones, you can do it with one hand. And also to move the carriage, I have this uh, mechanism here that I can move back and forth everything that I want. And if I push this one, it goes all the way down by itself. For the rest, you just use it exactly how you would use an original owner. Okay, thank you for listening.